So one thing we've talked about on this channel is how both Joe Biden and Donald Trump have exhibited severe cognitive decline and dementia and that neither of them are really capable of running the United States of America as president. But today, Donald Trump took the cake in that regard when he called upon Roger Ailes to fire Donna Brazil from Fox News even though Roger Ailes, the former CEO of Fox News, passed away more than three years ago. He tweeted the following basically an hour or two ago. She gets fired at CNN for giving crooked Hillary the debate questions and gets hired by at Fox News. Where are you, Roger Ailes? Question mark. Now, he's referring to Donna Brazil there, and he's right. I'm going to be fair. Donna Brazil was responsible for feeding Hillary Clinton questions in advance of her debates against Bernie Sanders back in the 2016 primary. No one's denying that. That's what happened. We all know that the Democratic Party elite rigged that primary against Bernie Sanders. No one's debating that, at least no one reasonable. But what he's saying here is for a man that died three years ago, more than three years ago, to fire somebody that works on the Fox News Network. This shows a man that has no sense of time or place. And what Donald Trump said just a few minutes ago is that, of course, he quote unquote knew that Roger Ailes had passed away and he was just, you know, summoning his spirit to say that. Fox News was better before his passing, but no one really believes that. Donald Trump, much like Joe Biden, has shown that they don't have the mental wherewithal to do the job that's in front of them to run the country, and that Donald Trump basically forgot that the man that runs the TV network, he watches 10, 12 hours a day, passed away three years ago, plus a month and a bit. That's what happened. It's really sad to see, frankly, however much you like Donald Trump or dislike Donald Trump, that he would make this sort of error. But it shows that he's not all there. And Joe Biden isn't all there either. And my point on this channel has not been to point a false equivalency between the two. Because I have said over and over and over and over again that Joe Biden is isn't as bad as Donald Trump, that Joe Biden, however regressive and however incompetent and however undeserving and however lacking the mental capacity to do the job as president is still better than Donald Trump. But Trump in general has made such a big point about sleepy Joe Biden that Trump and his campaign and his supporters have made such a pervasive point about Joe Biden being full of dementia and cognitive decline and unable to do the job as president. And now, as we've often seen, Donald Trump exhibits the very same things that Joe Biden is criticized of, forgetting where he is at times, being unable to do very basic physical or mental activities, whether it's speaking clearly whether it's holding a glass of water, whether it's walking down a ramp. These are things Donald Trump has been unable to do. Whether it's the ability to actually give the American people a clear diagnosis of your health condition, which Donald Trump has not done back in 2016 or since. And so this for me from Donald Trump is the pot calling the kettle black. It's the epitome of the pot calling the kettle black because he's made such a big deal forever since Joe Biden became the nominee, especially about how Joe Biden lacks the mental strength to do the job. And I don't necessarily disagree, but if that's a disqualifier, if being mentally not all there is a disqualifier, then this affects Donald Trump every bit as much as it affects Joe Biden. And this is not about age. People will often say, look, are you being ageist calling out two men in their mid late seventies for not being all the way there when they speak or when they move physically? And I would say that there is a risk of that. I don't want to make this an argument about age. I don't think anyone, regardless of age, 
should be disqualified from serving as president. I, for instance, would support removing the 35-year-old age minimum. Anybody who's old enough to vote should be old enough to be president if the people of the country would elect them president. So I don't think somebody in their late 70s or older even should be disqualified. But we see Bernie Sanders. We see how he speaks. We see how sharp he is. We see how focused he is. We see how he can still play baseball and basketball. And on the other hand, you have men that don't know who's alive or not. We have men that don't have the ability to form complete sentences. And we have men that cannot walk up or down ramps or hold glasses of water running for president and proclaiming that there's some sort of leadership model for the American people. And if Donald Trump wants to make this election about cognitive decline or about dementia vis-a-vis Joe Biden, he has to be ready for the reality that he will be scrutinized on those very same flaws even more. And Roger Ailes being dead is something that he should have known. And again, I don't buy his excuse. So here's the thing, Donald. You want to make it about cognitive decline? You want to make it about dementia? I get it. Joe Biden is weak on those fronts. But you're no spry chicken yourself. And every attack you launch against Joe Biden as it pertains to dementia and cognitive decline will be parried against you just as hard. And your late night Twitter rants, they're only going to hurt you in that regard.